Hey everyone, this is Ashwara and welcome to Beauty with Coach. So guys, I am getting these days so many messages on my Instagram and like I get same question again and again. And the question is, ma'am, I want to learn coding. I don't know where to start. Ma'am, how can I start coding? This kind of question is like coming again and again. I got more than 50 questions regarding this. So I decided to make this video. And since I got more than 50 questions, I'm expecting at least 50 likes on this video. And now it's your responsibility. See, it's my responsibility to fulfill your dreams. That's why I'm making this video. Fulfill your wishes, sorry. So fulfill your wishes. That's why I'm making this video. Now it's your responsibility to give 50 likes to this video so okay and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to it and if after watching you find this video helpful make sure you share it with your friends or your juniors they may need it i mean it's not about you or me or anyone like every beginner is in the same phase when i started i didn't knew from where to start I was like, uh, should I start learning C or C++ or Python or anything? Like, I was confused. Everyone is in same phase. It's not like I'll start with C and if I cannot, then I'll go to C++, then Java, then Python. Then I'll like end up wasting my time and doing nothing, learning nothing, isn't it? So the first step is decide which language you want to go with. See, if you are confused, you start with, let's say, C, C++, Java, Python and Perl, five languages at a time. Trust me, you'll end up learning nothing. You'll end up learning nothing. This is the case because you don't know how to start from where to start. And you started with five languages. Very good. See, one thing at a time. This is the best approach you should go with. So if you are confused, you don't know which language you should go with, then please do watch my video. Yes, it's available on this channel only, which programming language you should go with or you should start. Okay, so please watch that video. That video will definitely help you understand or like decide which programming language you should learn first. Okay, so let so first step is to decide which programming language you want to learn. Okay, and trust me guys, this is the very important step. Step. Okay, so this is the first step. And second step, in second step, I'll always uh, suggest you to go for active learning. Active learning means learning and practicing together. Okay, so it's not like I'll learn completely and after that I'll start practicing. No, you will end up forgetting everything. Trust me. If you don't practice, you will forget. So don't do this. Let's say you decided to uh, go with Python. Okay. And you just started. See, it's kind of impossible to learn everything about Python in a single day. So let's say uh, in one day you reached till if else. Okay. Or uh, let's say till print statement. You don't know anything. Just print statement. Then start solving questions where you don't need anything. Just print statement. You can print your name, your school name or anything. This kind of question. Second day, let's say you reached till if else, then solve problems which uh, requires only if else or print statement and nothing else. It's because you don't know anything about loops or any other advanced topic. And if you try, then you will end up feeling like a loser. And that is the worst thing you can do to yourself. Please don't do that. Please don't. So if you know till if else, practice till if else. After that, next day when you uh, learn loop, then start solving problems which require loop concepts. So this is the thing. Okay, so try like this. Okay, and uh, you can ask from where should I uh, try? Then so many websites are there. So many websites. You can start from Geeks for Geeks. You can start from Hacker Rank, Hacker Rank Earth, uh, Code Chef, Code Forces, um, Lead Code. So many websites are there, or any of your choice. Okay, any of your choice. So you can go for any online ID. You can start from anywhere, any website of your choice. Okay, so this is the first step. And let's say if you are uh, not in mood of uh, typing something on laptop or your computer, then don't worry. Start solving some MCQ problems. It's not like you won't do that uh, computer thing. No, do that too. But if you are bored or like if you are not in mood or if you are tired in that case, start solving mcq problems that will be nothing but snipe it output so make sure you solve at least a few questions at least two or three questions every day because that will uh, help you build logic 
so that is very important so make sure you learn practice on computer and snipe it output on paper these things should be done together so this is second step so make sure you do this okay so let's say you are doing this till you learnt uh, let's say 50 percent okay 50 percent of a python after learning 50 percent of python start doing a mini project you don't need to go for a very hi-fi project it's not like that start with a mini project make some like tic-tac-toe game make a calculator or anything so yes do kind of uh, these kind of projects okay so if you have done one project then move to the next project which is slightly uh, more advanced okay and it's not like you stop learning from for uh, you stop le learning after 50 percent no 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 continue that so now you started some uh, like bigger project you started that and you uh, did till uh, you did whatever you know fine and after that let's say you need a uh, database okay you need to know database connection see this project or the second project or the advanced project better to say so advanced project will help you understand what do you need so let's say you needed um, database concept you needed database to store okay so you are doing uh, let's say hospital management system and now you need database so here you will understand that you need to uh, learn how to connect to database isn't it so yes then you learn that so these things will definitely help and trust me guys project is the best thing to learn any particular language so this will definitely help okay so in this way you will be able to learn that particular language see no one uh, I can't say no one but yes at least I don't know any like everything about any particular language no it's impossible see you cannot know everything about any language see my mother tongue is Mathili I don't know everything about Mathili I can speak in Mathili fine I speak uh, since I was a child fine but I don't know everything I don't know every word of Mathili then how can I learn uh, everything about a language which I am learning now uh, like after one or two months no I cannot so it's okay to not learn everything but if you know what you require then that's enough so start doing that project that project will definitely help and yes that will motivate you to go for higher uh, advanced topics okay or the higher level topics okay so that is the best thing and see in this way you will be able to complete your project and that project will definitely help you at the time of pro uh, at the time of placement you can uh, mention that project in your resume you can show in at the time of interview that is again beneficial isn't it so one project enough okay so if it is good okay so do that and like it's not like you have done one uh, hospital management system and you will stop no if you have time if you want to explore yourself more then do another project something else do something else okay so try to do things like that okay and yes you can take help from like uh, stack overflow or other stuff so you can you are always welcome to take help from those websites those are there to help you but it's not like you will copy the code of Stack Overflow. Don't do this. Never do that. Please just go and understand and implement in your own way. It's not like you decided to make a hospital management system and you started Googling or like copying others code. You will never understand. You will never learn. So do your uh, coding part by yourself. Start from scratch. Make uh, that uh, website or anything you want if you are in web designing or if you want to learn for like javascript then it's not like you will copy someone else's code no, don't do that make sure you you code by yourself that will help you learn okay so if you uh, did everything i said after that if you have time you can go for freelancing freelancing is very good thing that will give you money that will give you experience that will give you knowledge you can go for internships so these things will also help these things will help you uh, learn coding as well as improve yourself in many ways because practical experience is much more important so you can go for that so try these things so first step is decide which programming language you want to start okay so this is the first step and after that you know everything 
सो आई होप आई सेट एवरी थिंग एंड नाउ इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो विल हेल्प यू देन मेक श्योर यू शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड फिफ्टी लाइक्स ओके एंड ऑन दिस नोट आई एम रैपिंग अप दिस वीडियो सो स्टे हेल्दी स्टे फिट लव यू ऑल दिस इज ऐश्वर्या साइनिंग ऑफ बाय बाय